What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about RJ Davis and UNC. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. UNC basketball is having a solid season so far. They're currently eight and three, and they might have the best player in the country right now. Senior guard RJ Davis is on a tear right now. He could have a chance to win the college basketball national player of the year award. I don't know if people have been noticing, but he's going off this season. He's putting his team on his back right now. Last season he was averaging 16.1 points, but in the senior season, he's taking his game to a new level. He's averaging 21.7 points through the first 11 games. And he's ranked in the top 10 in scoring this season. I believe he can get his average up to 25 points per game. He's the first player to lead UNC in scoring in seven straight games since Tyler Hansborough. This is some elite company he's in because Tyler Hansborough is a UNC legend and the team's all-time leading scorer. So what RJ Davis is doing right now is impressive. In the last seven games, he dropped 20 or more points and they played some good teams in that time frame. He had 27 points against Kentucky. In that Kentucky game, even though they lost in a close game, RJ Davis is the main reason why they were in the game until the end. He had 26 points against UConn, and he recently led his team to a big win against Oklahoma, who were undefeated. He had 23 points that game. UNC is making him the focal point in the offense, and when his teammates are getting cold and can't knock down shots, RJ Davis is picking up the slack. Most of the time when his team needs a big shot down the stretch, he's going to deliver for him. It's hard for opposing teams to guard him once he gets hot, and he's one of the best shot creators in college basketball right now. From the games I've seen, he's playing with a lot of confidence, and his shots are just fallen. I don't know how long he can keep this streak of scoring 20 plus points, but he will have a lot of high scoring nights before the season is over. Coach Davis moving RJ Davis to the two spots probably the best thing he did because RJ Davis was supposed to be the starting point guard for the season, but he decided to put the freshman Elliot Cadeau into the starting lineup and have him run the point. And this was around the same time RJ Davis started going on a seven game scoring streak. UNC can be a dangerous team and they could win the ACC the team approves and continues to get better. Freshman guard Elliot Cadeau is getting more comfortable in the court. Most fans thought he would come into his freshman season and last it up because that's what I thought but right now he's just putting up okay stats nothing crazy he's averaging 6.7 points and 3.7 assists per game I do believe he's going to turn into a nice scoring thrower alongside RJ Davis in the backcourt the way Robert Dillingham is playing for Kentucky I thought that's how Ellie Cadeau will be playing they're around the same height they have similar play styles and they're super shifty players who got some bounce so I hope Ellie Cadell can step his game up when ACC play starts and takes his game to the next level. Armando needs to step his game up just a little bit more. Even though he's averaging a double-double this season, he needs to make sure he's playing his best when they're going against these top-ranked teams. He had a solid performance against Oklahoma, dropping 14 points and 8 rebounds, so he bounced back after having a bad game against Kentucky, who's arguably the best team in the country. That game, he was a non-factor, and this had people worried. He's not playing bad, but I feel like he's not playing to his full potential right now. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? He's the heart and soul of this team and a leader. So even if he's not putting up solid stats, he can still impact games with his leadership. Harrison Ingram is looked at as the best all-around player on the team. A scout called him the Swiss Army Knife of this team since he can do everything. Hit threes, share the ball with his teammates, and play defense. He has been scoring the ball well these last three games. He's averaging 14.3 points, shooting 48% from the field, and 43% from three this season. He does a lot of things in the court, but UNC is going to need him to keep being a scoring threat. He's a good second option for this team. Cormac Ryan's a high energy guy, but he can be inconsistent sometimes, and sometimes his shot's not always falling. Some games he'll give you 15 points, and some games he'll give you like 6 points, but he is a good all-around player for this team. He's going to have a solid season. ACC play's about to start soon, so we'll see how good UNC will be, as of right now, I feel like they'll be in that ACC championship game, and they could win it, and it'll definitely be in the NCAA tournament, and who knows, if the team is playing well together, and RJ Davis is hot during that time frame, who knows, maybe they can make a deep run. Is RJ Davis the best scorer in college basketball right now? Now, how good will UNC be these next few games? Drop your opinions in the comments, drop a like on the video, and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.